How do you guys? So we're back with it. <coughs> Let me clear my throat. <coughs> hmm, should have done that beforehand, but never mind anyway. Uh, right, so we're back with this. So as you can see, I've put it all together. And um, this, uh, this was a, this thing's got his wheels missing, but we'll worry about that in a minute. Um, right, so there we are. So we've got the truck here, the chassis there, the engine there, the, the actual shell there, and the floor with Chappie sitting in there. 25 pound a gun and the ammo trailer so there's no way i'm going to get all of this done in this video it'll take forever so what i'm going to do is i'm going to choose an item and um basically just do uh i'm just going to paint it so um yeah now then a mix of colors i use so i use mr color and i use tamia's That'll be the range of colours I'm using. It won't be for the engine. Um, so I've got XF69 NATO Black, XF81 Dark RF Green 2, XF60 Dark Yellow, XF58 Olive Green, Number 1, which is white in a Mr. Colour, and Number 44, which is tan. So they're the colours I'm going to be using. I also use this stuff, uh, Mr. Colour Thinner 250. So it thins the paint down, but it also flattens the paint. So if you want like a bit of a matte finish, uh, which these vehicles have, then I'll use that. This stuff is paint leveller, so basically this gives a smooth finish, but it will also gloss it. So when you use this, it's usually 50-50 of each. Um, and as you can see, I've used quite a bit of this one because this is the one I mainly use, just really because I'm, I do aircraft. When it comes to um, vehicles, I've got so used to using it that I do by accident shove plenty of this in but um really for vehicles i'll just use that because they've not they've got not got a great deal of decals on them and for what it's worth wherever the decals go on these things um you can just put uh don't go on here, go on here. so like where we've got there the two two places the decals would go then you can just put a little bit of you know a 22 clear tamia clear over it or, or any kind of gloss varnish or floor floor polish mr uh, johnson's clear if, if it still exists as i don't think it does anymore um so yeah so anything like that that's um that's 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 it anyway shut up my christ that keep going on um let's get going <coughs> otherwise we're gonna get anything done uh so right what should we have should we have the gun no uh da -da 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 -da. i'll tell you what we'll go with a trailer Basically what I do is um, I spray everything NATO black first. So let's hope I've got some in here because I did run out the other day. Uh... <laughs> oh, Pox. It would have to be, wouldn't it, eh? Oh, oh to, uh, oh to joy. When, uh... right, let's put a bit of that in there. That's colour thinner. Not colour leveller. And then um, just give it a bit of a shake. God, this is so Tom and Jerry. Oh, I'll give it a bit of a shake, see if I can wangle it. Must have that do. <coughs> right, just tip it in there. Right, that's that. So, what I do is I generally try and get as much of this thing covered as possible in black. So, I'm going to have to order some more. Some more black uh, to do the rest of the vehicle. Um, you don't have to have to paint things black. You know, you could just crack straight on. And not only that, the black is, you know really is only where like the, the crevices are of, of stuff. But I, I just find it easier. Just I, I suppose it's because um, I've been doing it on aircraft for so long. And, Feel like where you get the mottling effect. Um, or no, actually, they call it the marble effect. Yeah, not the mottling effect, the marble effect. Anyway, let's try and bring this, this light up a bit and bring them across. So you can see what I'm doing. So basically what I'm doing is I'll just give you some light coat. It'll still work. It'll still go down all right. Uh, be nothing bad. Uh, 
Alright, I'll go and get on that boy. Down there. And the good thing about this stuff is, is because it's kind of matte, it dries reasonably quick. Now, well, no, don't be that. Now, how am I going to hold this now? Let's get a pair of these. They're always coming handy. What is it they say? Never work with animals or children. You watch. They'll probably ping off it, isn't it? As a matter of fact. Save wasting paint. <laughs> it's right over the, the truck itself. Just like this a little bit on there. No, I wouldn't normally do this. I'd just normally... Spray it and uh, I think that's about done in there now. Right, so here we go. Right, move that out of the way. Right, so a bit there as well. And a bit there. Oh, and a bit down there. There you always find something. There we go. There we go. Right, that's that done. So that's that colour out. So we'll... Um... Oh, hang on a minute. I just thought I've got to save these jars. There you go, Mr. Abel. My good friend. I'll save that for you. I was just about to lob that straight in the bin then. So, um, right, so next... Uh, now, what are we going to do with this trailer? We're going to spray it... Um... Yeah, let's have a look to see if we've got, um, let's put that there for a minute, see if we've got anything left in here. Do you know, I've picked up pots this morning. Oh, that'll do, that'll do, that will do. Tip the rest of that in there. Do you know what, mate, this is your lucky day. My best mate, he's, um, he's a subscriber to this channel. This is your lucky day. That's another bottle. That's two jars you've got, right. So, <clears throat> let's just give this a quid of a bit of a mix up there. <laughs> right, and uh, let's see what happens here. So there's a bit of, bit of green going on now. And we can gently put this on. We'll give it a light coating. Go all the way around. I must admit, I haven't got the best lighting in here. This is not, I mean, if, um, if I had my shed, which I was supposed to have, um, the lighting in there was going to be all LED and it would be a lot brighter. I always was trying to get myself kitted out with a, with a nice studio. Um, but unfortunately, due to now being told we've got to move house, uh, the whole thing has come to a grinding halt. Don't really know what to do with it anymore. Um, I'd love to take it with me for sentimental reasons because my uh, dad, who's now well into his 80s, um, helps, you know, he, he helped us design and build it. Um, from what it was to what it is <coughs> and um, you know uh, just for that alone and his brother that gave us the the kind of antique windows that's in it um, yeah I suppose I could do a small video and show you how far we got with it but I don't know whether it would be worth it would it oh no I'm out of green there you go right so look so there you go that's uh, that's the green gone on so You've got a, you've got a, like a dark black, so it shades it all out, and then you got the green, and then we can use another green, <coughs> um, which will be uh, this one, this olive, olive drab green. Uh, you ain't gonna get this jar mush. <laughs> so, give it a bit of a shake up. And really, to be honest with you, I've got a clue what I'm going to do with this this trailer, but um, I'm sure I'm, 
let's put a bit of uh, a bit of squirt in there. So this is leveler two. Uh, this is thinner's two fifty. So fill the. Basically, what I do is, um, I get it where I fill it up to. The basically is where the neck this this here so I feel so all this is filled with thinners and then I tip the paint in just to top it up get a little wipe off and then just blow back so I don't know if you can see but if you blow back that mixes the paint up and blow on it and blow the bubbles out. Right, that should be pretty well mixed up now. So then what we can do then is we can just go on it and then just do a bit on the doors. Is it actually going on? Oh yeah, it is working. It's because the lighting is so old. So when we get it on, get it on the doors. So like, all I'm doing now is I'm just basically, you know, patchworking this thing. And because uh, I mean, I, I don't know what colour these things were, but they're so old, I can't find any pictures of them of any colours of any sort. So I just, I just basically, I don't know, make up as I go along if you like. Uh, you can kind of make it a bit neater underneath, so. On the edge of the wheel arch, and then underneath, just a little quick blast like that, and then up inside the mud guards. I hope this is getting the wind. So there we go. So that's that. So it's, they say this is the best colour for this, but you know it's. Uh, It's not bad colour. Mrs. has got me up with the kids. Mind you. That's it. Right, there we go. So the colour of the, the thing will always be a little bit lighter and a bit sort of greener on top and then on, uh, on sorry start again <clears throat> the colour on the bottom will always be greener than the colour on the top just usually because this is more exposed to the sun so um, we've got that now what we can do now is put a bit of that in there I'll wipe that up and then we could get uh, a bit of tan and kind of line it up a bit and make it and try and make it look like there's a few um repairs that may have been done to it i suppose and just going a little bit of battle damage i don't know a bit of wear and tear but most of the wear and tear will come from um the weathering of the thing anyway uh, a little bit more juice in there If you can hear that old hissing Sid, my um, air compressor has uh, developed a leak somehow, I don't know why, but um, it just has. Bloody hell, this is well light, still never mind. Right, <clears throat> well, what we can do here is um, there's a bit of, I don't know, a bit of sun fading, shall we? So if we go kind of like uh, blow it across. So now this is lightened up now. So basically what I've done is add a bit of tan to that green that I've just had, which is, um, was it XF58, wasn't it? Yeah, olive green. So olive green, so 
That's the Tamiya tam Ola Olive Green with Mr. Colors Tan. And um, yeah, and that's how I'm now lightening things up. Yeah, I'm still in shot. Yeah, so we've got it here. And that's where we want to be with it. Yeah, so it's there, it's there, it's lightening up. Over the mud guys, just over the top of it really, on the top of the thing and all that. Right, that's it. Now we don't need it anymore. Oh, I've got to look at bloody water it. Oh, oh, we can get rid of that. Right. Right, there we go. So anyway, let's just waste the rest of this on this cab. This is a this ago like a yellow anyway. Now for the for every single one here. Pink sure, because I've just realised my bloody window shut. And it's open now. I'll go I'll go telling off <clears throat> because uh, I have got a not a gas mask but a, a mask but after time trying to find it it's easier just to go on by the time I bloody found it it'd be the end of the day. Anyway let's say that's wasted that paint onto there. Right so <coughs> let's put him over there. So what we have now is we have the trailer, as you can see, and it's it's looking faded. So what we've got to do now is we've got to um, try and add some um, some detail to it. Now, as you can see, I've not sanded this thing down here. Hence the reason why I don't do tanks very often. So there's still a, a, a line there. But... I'm not bothered. It's not going to be for a competition or anything like that. Well, I don't do competitions anyway, so it doesn't matter. But um, do you know what? You, you can always cover those things up. Anyway, it could be a wire to a brake line. Anyway, I haven't sanded it down, so um, it's not like I haven't spotted it um, because I have. So, uh, right, where are we? Here we are. So now. We will try and weather it a little bit. So what I'm going to have a go at is this um, Humbrol Black Wash. If I can get it undone. Yep, there we go. And I'll get a paintbrush. Now, just lower you down a bit so you're a bit nearer to it. So with this thing, make sure that paint it's in there. You can see uh, we got the, the doors, so put a bit in there. Uh, the paintbrush I'm using is an old um, Tamiya brush of mine. Um, I do not know what the number is of this thing because all the bloody paints come off of it on the handle. But it's not a bad paintbrush for doing this thing. If... So, there we go. Now, now I'll soak it up because we're one of these. Earbud over here, Q tip over in America. Well, that don't look much like a snooker cue, but anyway. And then just get it off like that. You can roll it up. It still stays in the cracks. A bit more of that on the paintbrush. Try and draw it off in the lid. And then... <clears throat> now, you can use um, lots of other stuff. Uh, I mean, you could use artist oils to do this. Does exactly the same thing. You can use uh, thin down enamel paint. 
which is what I, I think I first started out with. I used to, when I used to do my first lots of weathering. As a matter of fact, the first plane, the first model that I ever weathered was a plane, and that that was a one thirty second scale F fifteen C for a friend, and I was crapping myself because I thought if I don't get this right, I know I wanted, I know how I wanted it to look, but if I didn't get it right, then well, he would go mad, because that model wasn't exactly a cheap model. Nothing to me is cheap, but, well, nothing's cheap, but even so, it, that, that's what he wanted. He wanted me to do a lake and eve bird for him, where we uh, we had a visit once together, and um, I did. And uh, I managed to pull it off. He was over the moon with it. And from that day to this, uh, I never looked back. Um, I've watched people on uh, YouTube doing all sorts of weathering with all sorts of models. Um, I personally think, this is just me personally, I think that... Um, Weathering is a is um how can I put it? It's kind of they're kind of all the same. They're all directional. So like with something like a trailer like this, I mean, okay, yeah, the the the, the flow of the airflow is going to be that way, <clears throat> but you do get a lot of down where it's just sitting and it, the rain just pours and that, you know and the, the mud goes over it. It all flies about all over the place. Um, boats, yeah, they go forwards, they don't, they don't ever spend most of their time travelling backwards, they're always going forwards, so again, the weathering would go this way, but then again, they get a lot of uh, drips coming down. Aeroplanes, yeah, they go forwards pretty fast as well, but you still get dripped down, as well as going backwards. Um, so, weathering in a, in a, in a funny way... It's kind of all the same cross board, but it, it, it's it's how you do it, I suppose. It's how it's how you see it in your mind as to how it ends up on the model, as to how well you know you can say, um, yeah, that looks like what I can see either in a picture of you using a picture, or. Uh, as for me, I don't, you know, I'm not using a picture for this, but, you know, it's um, it's just one of them things, you know, it's how I think this thing may have looked if I had found it in an old barn or something, or, you know, or gone to, to view it as in, um, to buy it for sticking on the back of my Land Rover. So, you know, it's just, it's, it's you know, yeah, well, there's... You know, there's no real said to. I mean, I had a guy once. I, I made a. I've got a. A Tamiya one sixteenth Abrams tank. Um, now that thing's bloody huge, but it's the radio controlled version, and um, I think I posted some pictures on the forum once somewhere of it, as I was doing it, and the guy turned around. This particular guy turned around and said. Um, that the water splash that I'd done on one of the sides was not to scale. And I thought, all right, not to scale, eh? And that had me scratching my head. Because I thought, is he taking the mick? Is he being stupid? Not to scale. So, um... Anyway, I got back to him and I said to him, I goes, okay, so what, what do you, um, you know, what do you recommend then? What, what, how, how, you know, how do you say that that's scale or not? And I showed him a picture that I'd been looking at where I kind of got the idea from. And, um, yeah, you can guess what happened. 
it went a bit quiet. <laughs> so, weathering isn't isn't really discussed. I mean, okay, if you if you if you say get this this thing and you put a a massive, you know, um, how can I put it? You get this vehicle and you weather it without brush. Yeah, no, but who's to say you didn't hit a puddle? You're not just using that just to get it on there. How big was a puddle? So, anyway, that was it. So, um, yeah, it was kind of, he didn't do himself any favours, not by me, but by the other members that were on this forum, I'll tell you, they, they sort of dug into him and said, you know, how can you say that, you know, being this, and I thought to myself, you know, hang on fellas, hang on fellas, there's no need to get nasty. Maybe he just didn't know, maybe he just, you know, he thought what he thought, but, you know, no need for nastiness. This is a fun, it's supposed to be fun, not not bloody standing here to bitch about each other and, you know, and all the rest of it. So, anyway, but it, there it was, and, you know, this is where, like, you know, even, even with this thing, you know, I'm going to say, Christ almighty, look at the size of them, you know, dirt marks on them round them rivets. Yeah, they're bloody massive. But, you know, sometimes you can't always, you know, get it to scale, or you can't get the look you want, or... You know how are you gonna how are you gonna do things? But I mean, this is just a, like a like a base. So anyway, it's just showing you guys what I do. How it turns out is how it turns out, isn't it? You know what I mean? So anyway, that's that. Right. So there we are. What we're doing? We're just basically putting all this around, like where attachments are. So there it is there. I've done that much at the back. Uh, done the top of that. Done the front of that. Oh, hang on. We haven't done round there. Obviously there would be a bit round there. And then it would be round this. That's it. On there. Really, an amazing amount of detail around these locks and locks and bits on here, anyway. But um, <coughs> now, let's see if I can try and get it to to run down here. That one, that one. Right, and then, last but not least, one on the front. So, what we do now, we just go like right that. Dirty it all up a bit. Oh, I'm doing kind of a bit off camera. Um, right, so there we go. So, um Is. <clears throat> if I actually get this finished, I don't know. But uh, uh, where are we going now? Let's put a bit in there, and a bit in there, and again. Is the old uh, things well fluffed up, right? What I'm going to do now is I'm going to use 
a dust wash. So this is the Humber old dust wash. Oh, bloody Nora. Let's get... God, do you know what? Trying to undo these bloody things is a nightmare sometimes. I uh, managed to snap a tendon in my finger and crack it, did it. I could normally put up with a lot of pain, but that did make me yelp <laughs> at the time I did it. And it happens to be that finger there, and it was under, in there that it snapped. And um, yeah, trying to undo bottles now is, is a bit of a pain in the arse. Right, get that, that off. Um, And then we can roll it. There's a hundred and one different ways to do this kind of stuff, but this is just how I do it. And I must be, it's not. Doesn't always work out for the best, but I'm trying to think. Uh, this is my other, <laughs> my other brush, my other Tamiya brush. This one's a. Oh, there you go. It's got the number on that. Eight seven zero one six. So th this is an old one. I usually use these old ones for, you know, scrubbing stuff on. So like, where you got? There, you yeah, know, just on the f where the, the brush is curved, just um, you know, plonk it on it, use whatever's in the lid to you know, put over like that. time I use a bit of rag as well so you can just dab it so I use the other end of this oh, hang on a minute. so it takes the swirl off of that and then off of that there and then you can um, you can Try and see if we can get some runs down the door. So, using the brush that way. Yeah. And then just. Can you imagine if I was doing this whole kit? <laughs> the length of time. God, you lot be bored. Some of you might be bored now. I don't. I, I must admit, fellas, I have to apologise. I don't know how to edit. So we're like, you'll get, I don't know, Nigel's modelling bench or something like that. If a lot of you watch him, he seems to be pretty big over here at the moment. Um, they'll cut off, and, you know, put some fancy fart-ass music on and... Then they'll be back again, and you know, and yeah, but no, not me. No, I can't do that. <laughs> I don't. I don't know how you do it. I'm not really an an editor as such. I'm just one of these people that oh, what you see is what you get, really. So yeah, sorry about that. If you you know, if you like all that nice BBC stuff, then the same for you, is it? But you never know, it's fun, you might learn something. Right, um, now, I've got to get a bit of a stiff... Stand. Let's get that other brush that was there. So this is a... Um, this, is, uh, this is one of those cheap artist brush out of a place called The Works. And um, you can just squeeze that out. As you can see, the whole thing now is, is looking a lot uneven and, you, you know... Yeah, a few dirty marks here and there, and uh, yeah, it's blending it in. 
now. So it's looking, you know, reasonably dirty. And uh, blended in with an old artist brush. Oh, but if, anyway, you can if I just move that to one side. You can see there how we, we get where the, the locks and latches are. It's always going to be more filthy around there. Now, the other thing we can do, and I've got it here, is um, this. Now, this is um, Brownie Artist Oil Colours uh, Van Dyke Brown. <clears throat> what I use with how I use that is um, again a little tiny brush, um, just dab it in there so you actually get some on. But I also use. A lump of wood just to take it all off because obviously uh, you don't want to pile this stuff on there but this adds another tone to the weathering so like where you would put put some you know van dyke brown around there and a bit around there around that latch and lock right and then you just get this dry old brush again and you just you know there you go Again, just whack it all off. So that's that. Um, we can do the same. Is that the brush? Yeah. So we've got this here. And we can put it... Oh, anywhere you like really, you can just dob it on where you think that you might, you know, I don't know what they are, whether they're supposed to be handles or something for for attaching gear on. And then you can just rub this in, this stuff, this Van Dyke Brown. Get your cotton bud. Even, uneven. Because on the front of this is where they supposedly carried all the gear. All the gear with no idea. It used to be me at one time. It used to be all of us at one time. So I'm pretty sure we all had some gear and had no idea on how to use it. At some point in our lives. Unless you were lucky enough to be taught how to use everything but there you go brush it down get rid of that smudge see it starting to look a bit weathered now um, so on here we would um, uh, where is that stuff there it is so yeah, let's get this out of because I don't need that anymore I don't need that anymore so this is this, uh, this is I'll put terps in here and then this is a, a MIG pigment North Africa dust so Basically what I do with this is I'll get a brush like that, put it in it, tap it off a bit and then I would add some couple of drops of turps and oh god here we go. Look. She had a visit from the Queen herself who gave her a big mouth. And then just dob it on there because this is a bit where you're gonna put the mud and then it's looking a bit right so that's piled up on there yeah which we can dab with the cloth looks like rust but 
Now when that dries, it actually dries quite light. So we can put a bit up in the in the wheel arches, spread it about a bit up there and in there like that. And when we go with this. Oh dear. Okay. And then uh, in there. And then oh okay. Can't there was a lot that came out on that then. Add a bit of dust to it as well. And that's got up in there. So it all curdles in. And then like I say, then you can dab it. Um, and then with the, just roll the thing, the, what do you call it, earbud. In the, Wheel arch, right? And then what you can do here is you can just lightly go over that there and over that there. And then try to brush out a bit on the underside doesn't matter how it looks because there's no set to you know some makes me laugh about sci-fi stuff sometimes there is no set to um color scheme way of doing anything or anything i think there was one that one time that it came up on a sci-fi forum um that uh <coughs> somebody was saying oh you haven't got the color right on the x-wing fighter or something like that not to do with me this was to do with another modeler and he said well show me an x-wing fighter <laughs> that was the end of the conversation. Uh, like a lot of things, the end of the day, I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's modelling, yeah? It's supposed to have fun. Why do you get these, you know, people that, I don't know, they just want to, you know, be negative about it all the time or nasty about something, you know? No, I've never understood why why that happens. I'm going off screen here. Isn't I? That's because I moved the bloody phone. It should be further down here. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Never, 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 never understood that. Why people are like that. Now what you can do here is you can do this. You can put a bit of this in the bottom there. I mean, I know there's going to be equipment go on it, but, you know, and then as it is, um, just wash a bit of dust wash in there. Make sure you get it all. Because that's the one thing that happens is it builds up in corners. And then do it like that. A bit muddy, a bit muddy around there. Yeah. And then again with the with the whatever you want to call this, I'll call it an earbud for argument's sake, is, is just, you know, dab it off. Yeah. And then there's a bit in that corner, so that needs a little bit more turps on it. So there you go, and then a bit of splashing up the mud guard, you know, a bit of up here. And then you start to get the, the desired effect then of, of, of everything and um, you can dob along there as well and then just get your, your, your rag or you know, your, your earbud and then on top you can just Because this is now soaked in this stuff. A little bit of oil stuff there. So now it's, it's, it's now looking a bit, a bit weathered, to say the least. Yes, there we go. Beautiful. 
So, I'm not saying that he's been out in North Africa. He could have been anywhere. And the other one. Oh, oh, oh. Shake him up a bit. <coughs> Is the enamel wash. It says for US. But, yeah, you can use it. This is a, another kind of darkish brown wash, so you can put it right in the in the corners in there. And again, use the the brush to uh, the brush, the bloody cotton bud, to do that, mop it up. Um, I've never done this on video before, so I normally just sit in here by myself doing whatever I do. So uh, you have to excuse me if I go a bit quiet. It's just I don't really uh, have to say. In oh, there we go. So again. And a bit of brown on the on the back. And then I've got the joins there on the mud guard, but oh, this is if if it's just a little bit of fun. I say I'm not really doing it to. Uh, well, I don't really enter competitions. Just like doing this for myself and seeing how well I can get it half the time. So here we go, let's put a bit in there. You can see how that's drying there, look. In, in that, that corner there, that's going dry. So this is, you know, it's just, do whatever you want to do. Yeah, not looking too bad. Is that the one? Just dry it off a bit on there. <coughs> and put it back in there for another go. And then go across there for the shot. And then dry brush it again. And then right, okay, no. I don't think I can get much more weathering on that. Um, so I'll wrap this up for a minute. Where's the lid to that? Oh, bit of a stretch, crack my back. Right, so that's it. That's the general idea of, of um, doing a bit of weathering how I do it. Obviously, you wouldn't do the same thing on an aeroplane. Um, it'd be it'd, it'd look a bit, <laughs> it'd be odd, wouldn't it? Loads of mud splattered everywhere. But then again, you know, mud, mud does get splattered on biplanes and old things like that. So, I mean, there you go. Here's your back there. So, um... Round a bit of that off there, and then tidy that up there a bit, and tidy that up there a bit. That should do it. I think if you just go down there like that with that, it gets rid of most of that. 
And then, uh, just trying to think here. There was a lot of dust on the bottom. And there we are on that. Right. I think we're going to call it down there because I don't know how long I've been going because I can't see the clock on my phone. But basically, that's where we're at. So we started off with a nice clean trailer and now we've dirtied it up uh, to make it look used. Um, that's her. That's the front of the trailer. And then the back of the trailer. Under the wheel arches. There we go. Now I'm going to have to wait for that all to dry now. And then um, you can add. You know, something like, like tiny little oil streaks um, coming off of there, so how you would do that. Uh, is this the brush I was using? Yeah, it was here. So um, how you would do that is I'd use a Payne's Grey. Um, and then get an incy wincy spidery bit on there. And... Uh, So you're going to have to hear that in the background. Right, there you go, right there. So you could, you could do a little streak like that, and then where's my bud? And then you can get a cotton bud and just go over it. There, you see that? Uh, if you wanted to do the same thing with the hinges, you could put a bit along there, like that, underneath it. And then just drag it down with the cotton bud, or you could use a dry brush and do it. It has the same sort of effect, you see. So um, yeah, and then I don't know what this thing is. Maybe we could put a bit there, and again, where the rain tips down and washes whatever bit of crap it's had in it, stuck in it. Go down. Um, yeah. Usually the bottom ones are more dirty than the tops. But again, you see where we're coming from here. And then do it that way. And that's it. And so that's uh, how we do that. And then, um, I mean, this this in here, you're not going to see that um, because once the, once the wheels are on, the wheels are on. But you could always blacken it round here for a bit of oil and grease, and you could also uh, use the brown as well. So you could mix kind of like the two together, and get the two, and get like a blacky brown colour, so like you know, dirty old grease spots. Yeah, um, oh, I'm going off camera again with it. And then get the cotton bud and try and... And then uh, smooth it out a bit with that, with the brush. And there we go. And then you get your, like, your, your, your dirty effect on that. Um, and then you can just... Like I say, go over the doors again, dragging everything down, and there we are. And um, yeah, that's that. Now, the only other thing that I haven't shown yet is if you wanted to do, um, say, some uh, some metal chipping. Is the jar for that? So what you would do is um or what i i do is again clean that brush off and 
Oh, was having a tantrum. <laughs> but this here is um, rub and buff. So it's the shining silver. So what I do is I'll, I'll put a bit on the brush because you don't need much and then just put it on there and then it just loosens it up but spread it about all over the place. And um, there you go. It's all back loose again, those little lumps. I don't know how long this stuff lasts. I really don't. But this is really bright silver. And then what you do is when you put it on there, you can actually polish it on. Now, I don't really like having that amount of silver on the brush. I usually like to scrape a bit off a bit of tissue. So it's virtually dry brushing. And then <clears throat> what you would do here is th this thing's always been used. So you would go down that the bottom bit would be where the latch is so you would you know you could 